So Mega Man X. I might start doing this in future episodes where I do four games and then I do like an encore game or something. Since I know this game had kind of been sort of requested and it's a pretty good game. I thought I'd give it a shot here. This is Mega Man X on Super Nintendo. So we're, we're breaking the theme here of Game Boy Advance games. This, this is Super Nintendo. not see this one lasting very long. Here. I thought I could do like a dash or something. It's always been my problem with Mega Man is he doesn't have enough moves given how many things his enemies can do. Okay, I can charge his blast or whatever, but that's not going to do a whole hell of a lot. Okay, this seems freaking fair. Ah, stupid. Crap, 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 crap. Get up, get up, get up. God damn it. That's gonna break. That's gonna break. Where's my slide? I thought my man had a freaking slide. Oh, okay. Yep, that'll just pop up. Oh, that seems fair. You get the slide and chilled penguin -y, whatever that is. Doesn't seem like I have any other abilities. Okay. Chilled penguin level. Well, I'll remember that if I ever make it to it. seems like it's going to be ridiculous. Can I? Oh, okay. I was going to say, it'd be kind of cool if I could commandeer the vehicles. And I'm dead. doesn't sound like it's going to be easy. Nope! Looks like freaking Shovel Knight or uh, Boba Fett wearing purple. Whoa, okay! That's dodgeable. See what I mean? Like, how, what the, how am I supposed to go here? Can't slide under him. I can't jump over him. Clearly. 
jump like one foot in the air. I'm supposed to beat this freaking giant robot. Okay, I guess maybe I'm not supposed to beat him. I don't know. Okay, I was going to say, the whole game is a scripted loss. I mean, like, what was I supposed to do against that? Jeez. It's one thing when a game is hard, but when a game is hard because the controls and the moves don't give you a chance. Hey, there's zero. It's like, what am I doing? Hey, got three viewers. How about more viewers show up at the end? Or close to the end here, because we're winding down a little bit, but... Happy to have more viewers in for the ride. Playing some Mega Man X to close things out. X, you shouldn't expect to defeat him. This is a really broken S SNES game. Oh, I'm, I'm completely skipping this. Like, I have no idea what he's talking about. I'm usually too busy getting my butt kicked to really enjoy the game. Sure, there's a good plot in there. Oh, someone write that down. That's easy to remember. Alright, which one is the chilled penguin level? This one? Likely. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna lose all of them. I think I cried every level in this game. Chill penguin, alright, there you go. If I win this, I get the slide, which in my opinion should be a move from the beginning. Especially when every other enemy can jump all over the stage. The other thing I hate is how obnoxious the enemy respawns are. Like, if you turn for like a second, every enemy on the screen comes back to life. He really needs, he needs a double jump and he needs some kind of lateral motion or something. Because there's just not enough moves to get by on this. Like, this is, look at this! Like, what am I supposed to do here? Like, the levels are not designed for his moveset. I'm sorry. I've always said that. Yeah, I know by the end of the game you get, like, 20 more moves, but I'm usually dead by then. Like, there's no point. Well, at least they give you some power-ups here and there. Like, even with this bat thing, I can't jump high enough to freaking hit him. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not really chilling out right now. It seems like it's a pretty easy level compared to the other ones. Maybe this is like the one, like a starter level. This kind of reminds me of Scrap Brain Zone from Sonic 1 with these platforms and the things that come at you. A double jump would be nice, no? Okay, cool. I'll just awkwardly scale this while everything in the world comes at me. An endless supply of those things. I was going to say, that looks completely unsafe, you know? Oh, okay, that's actually the good guy. Eat me up, Captain. Or don't. Did anything just happen? Oh, I can do that now. Okay. Can I do it in midair? I can't, but that's fine. I'll take that. Yeah, it's just annoying, though. It's like, enemies are just always faster than you. Always faster than you. Except for that one. That one just kind of stood there and took it. Um, not that one. That one was not having any of that. That one's like, you're gonna make fun of my mother? I have a feeling a boss is coming up. Or maybe not. What does this thing do? Well, can I actually commandeer this? Okay! Alright, this is different. Oh, no, I guess not. Uh, why does it keep doing that? I want to just drive it. Okay, the robot is actually a lot more useless than I thought it was going to be. Even when you get something good, it's not that good. Oh, shit. I thought I could, like, do a jump off into the next one. Now where am I? Where's the stage? Oh, I gotta start all the way back here? Oh, okay, this isn't that far back. Oh, 
I'm gonna say, I can't jump far enough with that robot. I knew that. Oh, hold on, I'm still alive. I was gonna say, the way that that was freaking placed was ridiculous. This is stupid. It's not worth even going that other way. I don't know what these are. I probably could hit these with the robot or something. Okay. Snowballs. That's cool. I guess Dr. Wily's giving up and he's just going to start throwing snowballs at me. He's feeling spirited this year. Cool. That was weird. Ow. Boy, things really snowball fast in this game, huh? That's a boss when the door opens like that. I got no shot here. I did always like the way it scrolls. Like you go through the door, then it pushes you into the next room. Oh, I'm so screwed. And I'm dead. That was a fun fight. Dr. Wily and Light. I thought I just talked to Dr. Light. I thought he was the hologram. Yeah, it's, it's cool, except when I get blasted by the ice. Whoa, okay. Cool. I can't wait to die. Really? That was three hits! That was three hits! Oh, screw that. That was three hits. Try this. I don't know. Kind of discouraging. You guys saw how many hits that was, right? Oh, that thing looks like freaking Scyther. Sting Chameleon. Couldn't even beat the stupid penguin. This looks like a Kirby level mixed with, like, robot stuff. Alright, I still have the dash. I guess I kept that. That was nice, Dr. Light. Let me have that. Enemies, like, just pop up all over the place. Got no way to stop them. They respawn every five seconds. I can't slide. I can't jump all that high. I didn't realize that the freaking rocks turn into robots, too. This seems completely arbitrary. There's no rhyme or reason to how these things fall. And I just died again. Chill Penguin is the easiest one, but he's tricky if you use the walls of the arena to your advantage. Yeah, I'm sure they give me the proper tools to do that. Hey, four viewers, all right. Welcome, four viewers. I got anything more than two viewers, I'm doing pretty well. I guess you could see these robots. Yeah, seriously. All right, Spider-Man. Just because just you like Spider-Man doesn't mean you have to make the puns like him. Leave the puns to the professionals. There's really no motivation to go up there just to get my ass kicked. These guys are lumber jerks, if you ask me. Alright, time for arbitrary rock slides. Ah, I see. See, if I had more than zero lives by the time I got to him, I maybe would have figured that out. Oh, crap, 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 crap. See, I, I, why would they give me the wall kick before the slide? I feel like the slide is a much more basic move. The wall kick is actually, like, pretty useful, but I don't usually need it. that Woody the Woodpecker. It's a robot forest. Oh, I hate these guys that have, like, shields and stuff. Oh, an extra life. You know, hopefully we have some Mega Man fans in the crowd. I feel 
like I should be able to like knock down the trees with this. Maybe not. I'm gonna say I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say the robot's not gonna stay without sinking in the mud. And I'm gonna guess that I gotta stay out of the mud too. Of the mud. It's one thing I've learned in all my time on Earth. It's stay out of the mud. Ah, we're down to two viewers. We lost half of them. It was good while it lasted. You know, something tells me I can't take this robot in there. I'd like to take the robot in there because I know what's going to happen now. Let's see. It's going to be Rockman. Or no, this is the chameleon guy. This is Scyther. Even his entrance is devastating. Oh, I'm so screwed here. Why don't I use my slide? Oh, I don't have one. Oh, he disappears. That's great. What, if I hit him once? No matter where I am, he hits me with the tongue. This is stupid. I have, oh, are those the 3D games that were on, like, N64, Mega Man Legends? Or PS2 or something? Like, they were later in the series, I think. Maybe they weren't 3D, but they were, like, 2D with 3D elements. I don't think I have. I think I've seen them, and they looked okay. I just want a freaking fair Mega Man game. That's all I want. Like, I know I'm not, like, a gaming expert by any stretch. Oh, seriously? He does that move again? There's, like, no predictable pattern with this guy. Really? I thought I got... Oh, this top has spikes, too. Jesus. I don't know if they ever re-released them. Because if they're only on N64, I don't have an N64. Or maybe they were on PS1. I can't remember. They were somewhere in that era. I'm sure I would get just as far on those games. I did play the Mega Man Zero games on Game Boy Advance. And kind of had the same issue. It just gets old after a while. See, he does different attacks every time. Like, I'm waiting for him to do the tongue thing. And then he doesn't. I can't... I either can dodge him or I can attack him. I can't do both. Well, it's something I would check out, maybe, if it was cheap enough. I don't know, I don't know if I really want to play another one of these after this. I don't even care. I was gonna say, like, I'm not, I'm not gonna beat him. I think we can all figure that out. I'll try one more miserable level here. Let's see if I can beat one level in the game. We got three viewers. I'll try to impress them as much as I can. Uh, what's this thing? I don't remember. Let's try this. That octopusy launch octopus. They're all pretty rough to get the hang of. Like, there's just no consistency. It always felt clunky to me. I don't know why. And it's a shame because I really like the art style and everything and the music, but like, they're just the jumps are just really weird. And like, they never fixed it. Like, they made like 20 of these things and they never once thought to fix the jumping or the shooting or anything. It's like. People just know that these games are going to be stupidly hard, so they don't really try to make them any more playable. Like, I could see for the first couple, because NES games are always kind of like that, but... I mean, this was freaking, like, probably the tenth game in the series at this point, and they still have the same issues. I hated Mega Man 2, with the freaking platforms that would disappear and reappear at random times. Ugh. Oh, at least I could jump higher. If I could always jump this high, it would feel a little more fair. I like his dash. Oh, that's not going to be good. The problem is I can never dodge and shoot at the same time. It's like the moves I have to do at the same time are not doable. 
So I'm either going to damage this guy or I'm going to maybe dodge him a couple times. Yeah, I know. We lost another viewer or two because they got tired of listening to me bellyache about the Mega Man game. Really? The enemies weren't cheap enough before? Oh, this is stupid. Freaking Ahab and the whale all over again. There's, there's your Bible verse for the day. Oh, come on. Oh, that guy pushes you. That's different. Oh, no, he also pulls on you. Wow, that was merciless. Okay, not a big fan of this level. Usually not a fan of the water levels. Oh, good, I get to face this again. That doesn't look safe. Oh, I guess I, I, for some reason I thought I couldn't jump through that. That apparently is instant kill. Okay, that's cool. Oh, I gotta fight this thing again. Come on. Get out, get out, get out. And I'm dead anyway. See what I mean? I was like, how was, what was I supposed to do about any of that? Oh yeah, that health up that's sitting in the spikes. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and go for that. Seems like a smart move, right? Gotta be careful here, because I can't see the floor half the time. I got these things coming down on me. Crap, 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 crap! which we all know I don't have the time for. I mean, I can appreciate that about a lot of the old platforming games, the trial and error thing, but when I don't play this game more than once in a while, and then I play it again, and I can't do anything. What the hell is that? Yeah, I'm staying way the heck up here for that. Like, even, like, a game like Cuphead that's, like, really hard and merciless or whatever, like, I feel like that's even more fair, because you have the moves to beat the guys, you just have to know how to do it. This game, I feel like you never have what you need to beat anybody. It just feels like luck half the time. I mean, even if you beat it, you still, like, something dumb happens. Like, I'll beat this guy, and then the next screen will be, like, somebody shooting me in the face. This guy actually doesn't seem that hard, I probably just jinxed it, but it's not really doing much. Another game that's, like, unforgiving but at least fair is Contra. Like, I feel like, even though I lose a lot in Contra, at least, like, I can figure it out, and it's not like, oh, look at that. Like, every enemy in the game respawns every two seconds. Now watch this. It's gonna scroll to the next screen, and it's gonna be like... Oh, okay. Actually, that wasn't as bad as I thought. I thought there were gonna be, like, seven... I mean, these are pretty stupid, but at least they're not unbeatable. Ah, oh, here comes the boss. This should be good. You're definitely at a disadvantage. That should be their slogan. Mega Man, you're at a disadvantage.
Oh, this seems beatable. Uh, what was that? Four seconds? I lasted on that? Alright, that's it. <laughs>